Hi, Mike Corliss with Tormach. Today we're machining out lathe tool holders. So you would machine out your lathe tool holder if, obviously, if it doesn't have a bore big enough for the uh, tool holders that you want to use. Um, the tool holders that we're getting right now with the turrets, they only have approximately a half inch uh, bore through them. And most of your Tormach holders are going to have a three, require a three quarter inch bore. So we're going to machine this one out with a, a three quarter inch carbide end mill. We'll just peck through it um, using the jog shuttle and uh, then it'll be sized out for your Tormach tool holders. We already had one tool holder machined out to three quarters inch. So I used that one for my setup piece. I dialed it in so I have the same X0 um, at, when I machine this one. You want all your tool holders to be machined at the same location. So if you're running drills or center drills or reamers or whatever, you're gonna have the same offset. So this is an extended length carbide end mill. It's gonna be rigid, it's gonna hold size real well. Um, but the thing with extended length carbide end mills, they like to chatter. So you see I'm not going real fast. That's because you want a good finish. You don't want it chattered on you. It's time to start machining. Okay, a little bit slower, see that sounds better. There. Now I'm just jogging in with the feed wheel. Jogging in a ways, doing a little back feed just to break the chip. That's the sound of us going through the uh, set screw hole. Now the size of this is just going to be, I've got the end mill in a four jaw chuck and I indicated it in true. Um, so it's going to be whatever size the, the end mill cuts plunging it. If you want a real good fit on your tool holders, um, you might want to consider using a, like a milling boring head so you can adjust your size real fine. If all you're doing is running uh, like drills and stuff that it's, it's really not that important to have such a tight fit, just plunging through them with an end mill is going to be fine. And if you're going to use a boring head to size them out, you do the same thing. You just start out with a smaller end mill. Start out with like say uh, a 735 end mill, a, a 720 end mill, something like that. Five eighths. Now the reason we use an end mill, not a drill bit, is we're not perfectly centered on what um, the existing hole was that, that came with these holders. We're more lined up with the set screws than with the existing hole. So that's why you need an end mill so it doesn't, a drill bit would just want to follow the existing hole. Okay, so that's how you machine out your uh, lathe tool holders to accept the Tormach tooling, okay? Um, it's quick, it's easy, and it's, when you're done, it uh, accept the holders, so it's what you need. I don't know how close you really want to be. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I think I'm better from a distance, to tell you the truth. <laughs>